Hello, my name is Paul Weston and I am a racist. I know I'm a racist because I'm told I'm a racist by a great deal of people. The hard left think I'm a racist, the Labour Party thinks I'm a racist, Conservatives think I'm a racist, Liberal Democrats think I'm a racist, the BBC thinks I'm a racist, so I must therefore be a racist. Why am I a racist? It's very simple. I wish to preserve the culture of my country. I wish to preserve the people of my country. And in doing so, that makes me a designated racist in today's society. Now, this is something that's been moved by the left. The goalposts have been moved by the left a considerable distance on this. In order to be termed a racist 30 or 40 years ago, you had to actively dislike foreign people. Now, I don't dislike foreign people. What I do like, what I love, is my country, my culture, and my people. And I see that under a terrible threat at the moment. Britain is a very small country that's opened its doors to the, to the mass immigrants of the third world, and we are simply being overwhelmed. Our schools can't cope, our hospitals can't cope. Very little can cope anymore. Our welfare system is on the verge of buckling as well. So if I want to defend what I grew up in, what I was born into, my country, my British culture, my heritage and my history, I am apparently, according to absolutely everybody today, a racist. But I don't think that's the case. Not the case that I'm not actually a racist. I'm going to admit that full out right now because clearly I am. I've been told by so many people I am, it simply must be true. I'm probably also an Islamophobe. A phobia is an irrational fear of something. Now, I don't have an irrational fear of Islam. I look around the world today at Syria at the moment, where almost 100,000 people have been killed in the last two years where Shia Muslims are slaughtering Sunni Muslims and vice versa. I look at places like Indonesia and Egypt and China and the Philippines. Everywhere you look, you see problems with Islam. And they're violent. They are, dare I say it, to really reinforce my racist credentials, a thoroughly savage political and religious ideology. Now, many people will disagree with that. The far left, of course, will say you cannot criticize Islam because Islam is a religion and rules have now been put into place in this country that say if you criticize it, you are guilty of inciting religious hatred. But Islam is not just a religion. Islam is a political ideology as well. And we need to call it out on the fact that it is also political. It is a culture that is both political and religious. And I would like to know if I'm able to say certain things about it. Do I think, for example, that stoning adulteresses to death is something that we should welcome in this country? Well, I don't think it is. So therefore, I'm guilty of religious hatred by saying it. Do I think homosexuals should be hanged from cranes? No, I don't. I think it's backward. I think it's savage. And I think the people that do it are beyond the pale, quite frankly. And I'm not allowed to say these things because, of course, I'm again inciting religious hatred. So not only am I a racist, I'm also a religionist, apparently. But I'm not. You know, we have a huge problem in this country that is not going to go away. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. We as a people are declining as a demographic and the Islamic population is growing nine times faster than any other and when I look to the future I see a full-blown religious civil war occurring in this country. The unthinkable things that are going on in somewhere like Syria today will happen in this country before 2040, certainly before 2050 and I don't want Britain to turn into a country like that. So I'm going to denounce Islam as a backward, savage, political and religious ideology and to hell with what anybody thinks about that. Because if we don't do something about it, we are going to be involved in something that most people can barely even begin to imagine in Britain. Babies are beheaded in towns in Syria. The idea this could happen in somewhere like Surbiton 
or even Eaton Square is simply impossible to think for most people, but it is going to happen. It, it, it really is going to happen. So we need to denounce it for what it is, and we need to start mounting some sort of defence against this. But the trouble with mounting a defence against it is that you get hit with the racist accusation. I'm not a racist, but... Well, here's the thing. I am a racist. If I want to avoid a civil war happening in my country, I am prepared to accept being called a racist. And you should be prepared to accept being called a racist as well. Let's all just say, yes, we're dreadful, dreadful racists, and let's start denouncing an ideology that is the most primitive, backward, savage ideology that we've willfully imported into this country by the left, by people like Tony Blair, who did it deliberately in order to undermine our culture, our people, our country, my country. They did it deliberately. And then they said, you're not allowed to actually argue with us about this. Well, I'm arguing with you about this, Mr. Blair, and I'll tell you something. You denounced, uh, you, uh, you, you repealed the treason law shortly after you came into power. I think you committed treason, Mr. Blair. I think you committed treason when you said we are going to import the third world in order to rub the noses of the right in diversity. To me, that's treason. Your principal duty is to uphold the best interests of the people of this country. The idea that you deliberately set out to undermine us and to subvert us is an act that's criminal. It doesn't matter that you repealed the laws. Those laws can be brought back. And one day, Mr. Blair, you will be tried for treason, along with the rest of your cabinet and every single high-ranking Labour politician that allowed this criminal act to happen. And I'm going to tell you this. It doesn't matter that you can perhaps prosecute me for racism or inciting religious hatred. I don't believe in that. I believe only in one thing, the defence of my country, the defence of my people, the defence of my culture. And everything else can just go to hell. I am a racist.